our backup dancer. <laughs> Good idea, Mr. Cat. You go get your pop star outfit. I'm a super. Sorry, Cat. <laughs> Tough enough. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, you can play. But Millie's on our team. She is? <laughs> I'm not playing against her. That means I'm with you, cool. Oh, great. <laughs> so, what do we call ourselves? How about Flying Ninja Flag Force? Awesome. Well, we're the Vampire Flaggers from beneath. Yeah. Beneath what? Okay, you know the rules. If you capture the other team's flag and bring it back to home base without getting tagged, you win. If you're touched, you have to freeze till a teammate tags you. Let's go! <laughs> there! We can see the vampire flaggers coming from every direction. It's perfect! Of course it is! Cool pig did! And I can't wait to capture that flag and wave it in Millie's face! <laughs> uh, you and Dennis go. I'll stand guard. It's the rules. Um. The two shortest people have to stick together. You're only taller because of your hair. <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're already in their territory. Forget tagging. Just get the flag. <laughs> No way I'm getting soaked just to get a flag. These are new sneakers. We need a bridge or an inflatable dinghy or a helicopter. <sighs> Up there! Almost got it! Gotcha! Oh man, he tagged us! Ha! You guys are frozen! Get ready to lose! At least we didn't get our new sneakers wet. Ah! Gotcha! Ah! Wee -wee. Dennis? Thanks for unfreezing us, cool! I can't believe you both got tagged! Millie's like a monkey swinging on vines. She went to unfreeze the vampire flaggers. And get our flag! Vampire flaggers rule! Ninja Flag Force, attack! <laughs> hey, no traps, Coop. Quit routing, Harley. I can't help it. Lloyd's got his elbow in my eye. Well, you've got your foot up my nose. Oh, man, my sneakers soaked in boogers. Forget all that. The point is, Coop cheated. Not me, it was Cat. I saw him going here. Oh! Uh, there he goes again, blaming everything on that bald rat. I mean, that cute hypoallergenic pet. Game over. We win. <laughs> <laughs>
The vampire flaggers win with superior skill and brains, not because somebody cheats. We demand a rematch. You got it. May the best team win. And may the worst cat lose. <laughs> thorny bushes. If they try to grab it, they'll get scratched. Yes, sir. <laughs> Cook started this, but we're gonna finish it. I don't care what we have to do, who we have to sacrifice. Sacrifice? If they're gonna play with traps, then we're gonna win with traps. Lots of them. The biggest, scariest, itchiest traps they've ever seen. Are you with me? Let's go! Yes, Miss Sir! Hey, Lauren, you guard! We're gonna capture Millie's flag fair and square. <laughs> Bet you can't tag me! Phoebe, you stand guard the flag! And let Millie get all the glory? Not gonna happen! It's go time! She's kinda scary. I've always thought so. Catch me if you can! Vampire Flaggers! <laughs> Cat, get lost, would ya? Why do you always have to ruin our fun? <laughs> <laughs> Vampire Flaggers rule! We win! No fair! I'm in a cage! We know! Isn't it cool? You guys made this? Wow. <sighs> they made vine lassos, too. And a vine snare. But you cheated. It's not cheating if everyone is cheating. If you weren't cheating this time, you were actually cheating by not cheating. Yeah, Coop's a cheater. Fine, forget the rules. We play one last game. Anything goes. Loser has to clean out Cat's litter box for the next year. <laughs> huh, that's not such a big deal. Oh, yeah? You haven't seen Cat's litter box. <laughs> we'll slobber shake on it. We accept your challenge, but Lauren will shake for me. <laughs> uh, we don't really have to shake after all. <laughs> of mayhem will get their eyeballs melted by the sun's vicious reflection. Mm, not so good at cheating, are you? <sighs> Don't worry, Koopy. These will be perfect. Mwah. Vampire Flaggers ready? Ready to kick your butts! <laughs> <laughs> Game on! You worry about the flag, I'll worry about milk.
No, you are the imposter. I'm the real Captain Blasteroid. Explain to us again why you asked us to film this lame fight sequence. Lame? This will be the best underground Blasteroid movie ever. Captain Blasteroid and the attack of the evil clones. Who wouldn't want to see that? Us. Hey! <laughs> Millie, what are you doing? I'm taking Greeny Girl martial arts lessons. Well, you're ruining our movie. No, she isn't. That was the best part so far. Yeah, do some more, Millie. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Coop. You gonna let your little sister beat you up? <laughs> Coop's little sister totally kicked his butt. And I've got it all on tape. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose there's any way we can keep quiet about this? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Maybe Millie's been doing yoga. I hear that really strengthens your core. It's the best show in town. See a wimpy 10-year-old kid get flipped by his baby sister. take martial arts lessons. Sure, Coop. The Bank of Burtonburger can handle that in a month or two. <sighs> Just as soon as we take care of this bill for replacement gnomes. A month? That's not soon enough. Well, why don't you get Millie to show you some moves? She's taking martial arts lessons. Yeah, Coop. I'll show you. No way. I'm not taking lessons from my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, another bill for drywall. <sighs> Hey, Coop, been beat up by her little sister lately? <laughs> <laughs> what happened the other day was pure luck. <laughs> That'll never happen again. <laughs> well, maybe one more time. <laughs> Get a close up of his face, Harl! Coop, he's totally gonna help. <laughs> when will it end? Just the fluke, huh? <laughs> it was good! You would blame something weaker than your baby sister. Coop, look out! That sparrow looks like it wants your lunch money. <laughs> You're so lame. Lame-tastic. Lame-arithmic. Lame-tacular. <laughs> Millie couldn't flip me by herself. Three times. She had to have had help from Cat. So an alien entity made it look like she had super strength. I knew there was a logical explanation. Hey. Didn't you always tell me that your grandfather was a kung fu master? Yes. He was the most respected master in all of Hong Kong. Dennis, you got to teach me martial arts so I can defend myself against Cat. Me? Grandpa told me a few of his training techniques, but... Dennis, the whole school thinks I got flipped by my little sister. Three times. My reputation is at stake here. You have to help me. If I do this, you must submit to my teaching mind, body, and soul. It's a deal, Dennis. From now on, it's Master Dennis. First, you must learn how to focus your chi, the energy within. Oh. Try to snatch this marble from my hand. Oh, now what, Master Dennis? I don't know. You weren't supposed to be able to do that until after your training. Oh, well, moving on. Now. Grandfather said, every great martial artist has a fighting style inspired by one of nature's fierce creatures. Nut-gathering squirrel. Flopping seagull. Dog at hydrant. Show me flapping seagull. Um, poop. Nut-gathering squirrel. Oh, 
camera broken? Doesn't matter. We got so much footage of Coop being lame that we could start our own TV channel. Yeah, the lame network. <laughs> These will help you visualize your opponent. Now, focus your chi. <laughs> Now break this board, and you will break your fear of the cat. cat! You did it! You broke the board! Next time Cat tries to take me out, he's in for a world of ouch. <gasps> <laughs> I am ready for you, my furless foe. <gasps> Captain Blasteroid! <laughs> Cat Jewel, I will avenge you. <laughs> it's not finished yet, but we're confident it's gonna be our best work yet. It's Catboy! Now we can shoot our ending! <laughs> Asteroid, there is no greater insult. Dennis, I'm at the house of Swap, and I'm gonna take down Cat. But you're only supposed to use your skills for self-defense! Coop! Coop! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, flea-bitten feline! I challenge you to hand to bar combat! doing in the house of Swap when it's closed. Dad, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, I believe it all right. What a mess. Kids, scaring off that vertically challenged intruder was a brave thing to do. But next time, leave it to the pros. You boys have to teach me some of those crazy moves. 
Goku took on a tiny ninja. He's got the mojo of a dojo hero. And I trained the hero. A hero is one who focuses his chi and... <laughs> Billy! That's Master Millie to you. I've completed my Greeny Girl self-defense training. Oh, man, I had the lens cap on. <laughs> Mr. Cat, meet Robo-Chum. Robo-Chum, this is Mr. Cat. We're all gonna be good friends. And you can join us in the kitchen for a snack. La, 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 la. <sighs> I'm home. What you got there, son? Ooh, a soccer ball. Uh, pass it here. Yeah, we get extra credit for playing on the soccer team. Soccer is a great sport, sport. Hup, hup. <laughs> we Burtonburgers have a football in our blood. <laughs> Go! Okay. Maybe I ought to take it outside. Good idea, son. To have fun. I'll try. Thank you, Robo Champ. And nothing but the finest fishy frisky bits for my friend, Mr. Cat. I can't believe we have to play soccer. Why couldn't it have been something cool like Bronco Buster? <laughs> yeah, or badminton. Okay, line up! Let's see how you kids get your kicks! Congratulations! That was the worst start I've ever seen. A thing of beauty. See, you need to become one with a ball. But remember, it's not about the moves. It's about how you work together as a team. Now, let's play! Tomorrow, we've got our first real game, so get your rest. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Cooper, you've got the makings of a top-notch striker. Keep at it, kid. Thanks, coach. I will. Yeah! Hey, Coop, want to practice? You bet! Hey, look at this. I've been working on it all afternoon. Cool! Let me try. Pass it here. <laughs> okay, now pass it. Any time now, buddy. I'm open. No one around. Yes! Where are you going? Call me when it's my turn. That could be a while. Bootsville's newest star takes the shot. Oops. <sighs> Harley, you take the ball to midfield, then pass to Cooper, then he takes it across center, and... I score! No. Then you pass to Dennis, who sneaks past the defenders and takes a shot. Got it? <laughs> yeah. Now, let's go! Yeah! Over here, Harley! Let's go! Take it away, cat boy! Hey! Pass the ball, Coop! I'm open! No way! Look, over there! Time to find a twine! Oh! Oh! I score! That's my boy! A real chip up the old clock! Whatever. Ah! Yeah! Another big goal for Coop! Not as big.
big as your head. <laughs> we won! Yeah! Woohoo! I can hardly contain my enthusiasm. Yeah. Woohoo. Hmm. Hey, coach! Nice moves, huh? Cooper, you need to think about why we call it a soccer team. Dennis! Wanna practice? Nah. I've got waiting for a pass that never comes down to a science now. Aw, oh, what's the big deal? Our team won. Our team didn't win. You did. <laughs> yeah! Who messed with the plumbing? Mr. Ballhog a lesson. talking to myself all day. I can do that at home. Robots? Ugh. Why would robots be working on the soccer field? Hey, hey, put me down! Dennis, help! Nice try, Cook. I'm not falling for it. Dennis, I'm being carried off by an army of robots! Uh, uh. Huh. What's an army of robots to a big-time soccer star like you? Hey! They're all robots! Cool! I'm coming, Coop! Soon! Oh, jeez. Any time now. Oh, I'm warning you! I bruise easily! Thanks for the soft landing. You! Should have known! <laughs> Unbelievable! How many servants does an evil cat need? Apparently a lot! Yes! Oh man, I don't stand a chance! This is like 200 to 1! Make that 200! To chip! Am I glad to see you? I am so sorry! You can apologize later. A lot. Right now, I'm gonna help you take these mechanical dorks down. Unless you still think you can do it on your own. No, no! In that case, let's show these dumb some real moves.
could use a robo chimp to help clean up. La, 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 la. Looks like Cat needs a little more practice at losing. Nah, he just played with the wrong team. <laughs> Sport reminds me of when I was your age. They called me the Prince of Pranks. I guess that makes me the heir to the throne. enough pies for our Gnome Appreciation Society lunch. <laughs> what would you like, Growler? Coconut cream? Berry berry or... <laughs> Growler! The greedy boy! Careful you're not going too far with the prank, son. Don't you think flushing pies down the toilet is a little weird for an April Fool's joke? Was it me, Dad? Growler, you're gonna stay out here till you turn that doggy don't into doggy do. <gasps> ah! Flying saucer pie thief! Oh. Oh. Come back here with those pies! <laughs> Toilet paper in the tree! A classic! <laughs> uh. Flying saucer! <laughs> Ew! Alien slime! Quick, give me the camera! Mmm, coconutty! They must be tropical aliens! <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 April Fools! Gotcha! this year. Guys, wait up! There have been UFO sightings all over Bootsville. Here it comes. We got one on camera. Look! You gotta be kidding if you think I'd fall for something this lame. <laughs> if it is fake, whoever's doing it is genius. Wait, Dennis, I thought I saw something. Here, where, where, where? I don't see any UFOs. Try the other eye. <laughs> You got me. No one is safe from the Pharaoh of Fool Ha, ha, ha. Wait, what is that? Like you're gonna fool me twice with the same joke. A crop circle, and it looks just like... <gasps> Again! This is either the best prank anyone has ever played, or the human race is in deep doo-doo from an alien invasion. Our vote goes to alien invasion! I mean, alien invasion. People, this is just some prankster's idea of an April Fool's Day joke. There's no scientific evidence flying saucers exist. Oh, they're real. One of them stole my pies. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Kerber, we've got video. We're recording the whole invasion. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for everything you've all seen. <laughs> like too much cheese, maybe. No, Dad. The people of Bootsville need to hear the truth. We are being invaded! I know it! And my sister's pet cat is one of them! <laughs> Did you say your sister's cat? Ooh, that's silly! Mr. 
Mr. Cat's not an alien. <gasps> it's the mothership! <laughs> Practical jokers in my day. We'd paint their ears red and strap an angry badger to them. Ring a bell, Burton Burger? Oh, Coop, you did all this for a practical joke? I didn't do it, Dad. Cat did. Well, A for effort, Cooper. If only you applied such initiative to your science homework. But, Mr. Gerber, Dad! Quit while you're ahead, son. I warned you about taking things too far. Maybe now you'll learn your lesson. <laughs> Behind all this? But, but, I. Oh, I'm going home. Have fun with your pranking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the king of practical jokes. Ah, <sighs> uh, cheer up, sport. <laughs> oh dear, I think aliens got into the milk. Could be a sign of the coming invasion. <laughs> Get it? It's an alien drink. It's all. Alien eat! <laughs> Tough room. Cat got me all right. Mr. Cat is just a cat. <gasps> That's what you think. Ha <laughs> April Fools! Gotcha! I know it's April Fool's Day, but about the tap, I'd like to do the dishes what? without a bathing suit what? and snorkel. Dad, flying saucers! Uh huh. Nice try, son. Oh, 
old pie in the face gag. How about chocolate syrup? And feathers! With a side of coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> April Fool! You know, you're an all right prankster, but you're still not the master. Your dad is. And Millie. And Dennis. <laughs> and the water lives in my quarter. I am the queen of pranks. The guru of gotcha. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh -huh. I can't wait till next year. You won't stand a chance when it's two against one. <laughs> Uh, 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 rookie, senior officer always gets the sprinkles. Emergency! Someone get over here fast! Mrs. Munson, stay off the radio. You're interrupting very important police business. Ah, police business, my corset! You're probably parked at the coupon mart, stuffing your faces! Police gotta eat. Just get your keisters over here before I call the fire department or the Marines! Ah! Whoa! Let's roll! <laughs> uh, lemon jelly, my favorite. This is car 12. We need a backup for a 1015. We're a 1510. We're a 10 something or other. You just told them we've got an armed koala holding a watermelon hostage. <sighs> Stand down. It's just a 10 CCB. Another crazy cat boy call with the Burton Burger Kid. <laughs> what the? Officer Huffleman? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on! Look at my yard! They're finally gonna throw these hoodlums in the hooskow! What? Coop? It wasn't me, Dad. Okay, boys, tell us what happened. Okay, okay, one at a time. My sister's cat isn't a cat at all. He's an evil cat creature who wants to rule the earth. <laughs> You've got to believe me. Coop, the nice policeman, doesn't want to hear about our cat. Dennis, you're a sensible kid. Spare us the wild stories and tell us what happened. Oh, well, officer, uh, Coop was helping me with my paper route, and we were the only people awake on the entire planet. <laughs> These flyers should finally convince everyone that I'm not some deranged cat boy and that cat is evil. I don't know. This is against every rule in the Paperboy Handbook. Oh, yeah? What does the handbook have to say about alien invasions? But Coop and I soon discovered we weren't as alone as we thought. What was that? We better hurry! <laughs> what the? What is that? Okay, we're definitely not alone. Oh, eat fuzz! How long are we gonna listen to him yammer? Just throw him in the pokey and swallow the key! Get to the point, Dennis. Well, it was so foggy, you couldn't see the newspaper in front of your face. There wasn't a friendly soul in sight. Morning, boys! Morning, Morning Mr. Dubowski! <sighs> Well, maybe one friendly soul. Yeah, for a minute there, I thought... <laughs> That's it! Let's just call everyone on your route and have them pick up their papers at your house. No, I've taken a solemn oath to deliver papers through rain, sleet, and monsters. And that's what I'm gonna do. Ow! There's something evil out there, Dennis. Something that doesn't want these papers delivered. <laughs>
to warn you. I was right. It's the alien cat invasion. It looks mad. Please tell me those are the nice aliens. Get a hold of yourself, Officer Freddy Cat! Now, Dennis, are you sure that's what happened? It's true! A Captain Blastoid Blasto Commando never lies! Yeah, except for the part about me being a scaredy cat. No way! That may have been how it happened in Lameland. But we got the real story. Show them, Harley. <laughs> yeah, we got proof. Now you'll see the real deal. I am Wormy as the Slithersome. <laughs> Behold me and quake, you spineless vertebrates. <laughs> got that? Got it, bro. Let's go film the scene where Wormius battles the giant sparrow. I mean, the winged doom from above. <laughs> what was that? Oh, hey, look at me. I'm the first person in the world to read today's comics. I think someone wants to read them before me. Ouch. <gasps> Aliens. Give me a break. Then what happened? Oh, come on. It was attacking every newspaper on the street. And then... Something hates these papers! It's got a monster truck! A monster truck? As if. Look for yourself. We ran, couldn't get away. Help! <laughs> oh, we're being abducted by aliens! Super cool! We'll take you to our leader. Uh, is Mom even up yet? So there we were, at the site of an alien space crash. But does it beam us up for a space adventure in the spirit of Earthling alien friendship? No! It sicks its ugly warrior creature on us! <sighs> Welcome, alien dude! Hey, where are you going? <laughs> there you have it, officers. Video proof. This video just looks like a bunch of kids screaming into a camera. <clears throat> I'll tell you what happened, officers. And we want to hear the truth. Yeah, but can you handle the truth? Stick to the facts. And no cat stuff. This isn't about a cat. <sighs> it's about an evil genius cat-like supervillain. <sighs> I had infiltrated the headquarters of the evil Dr. Cat. It was up to me to stop him once and for all before he took over the world. <laughs> Agent Coop will never stop my diabolical plans. I'm trying to capture the moment. My kitty warriors shall infiltrate Earth, enslaving their human masters. <gasps> Soon the world will be mine for the taking! <laughs> Agent Coop, you'll never get away with it, you twisted bald rodent! Nobody talks to Dr. Cat that way. Millie! Ah! Thanks, Millie. That was a whole lot of help. Bring those back! Step on it, D-Man. As soon as we deliver these plans, everyone will know Dr. Cat's evil plot. We've got company! Story. 
Both your stories were the lamest. <laughs> At least ours had a monster truck. So, the whole neighborhood looks like a smash-up derby because a couple of ten-year-old kids are saving the world from an evil genius pussycat? Sounds like a case of your imagination's running a little wild. We'll let you off with just a warning. And a ticket for illegally parking a sidewalk sweeper. Has anyone seen a sidewalk sweeper? I forgot to put on the e-brake when I stopped for coffee. Did I say sidewalk sweeper? I meant bicycle. That's it? These kids are a pack of wild badgers, throwing papers around and terrorizing innocent garden gnomes and defenseless worms. Relax, Mrs. Munson. No one was hurt. Maybe it's time you all got some sleep. Good idea. Then Coop has some gnome gluing to do. <sighs> yes, sir. We've got to get the word out about Cat's evil plot. Try again tomorrow? Same time. Fine! Go back to dunking your donuts! I knew I should have called the army! I still don't get what happened. Don't even go there, Pinecourt. Nothing Catboy does makes sense. <laughs> Dennis, your paper on the quantum mechanics of Captain Blasteroid's Fasteroid Drive was terrific. Although, comic books are not considered a credible scientific source. I'll remember that for next time, Mr. Gerber. Good. And then there's Coop's project. It's difficult to read your work when you keep putting it through a paper shredder before handing it in. It's not me, Mr. Gerber. It's my sister's evil cat. Right. Everyone knows how good cats are with office equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to illustrate. These are your marks when you're focused. They go up, up, up. Coop, you need to do extra work to get your grade back up. And I've got just the thing. The Bootsville Observatory's Model Rocket Club. Woosh! 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, I guess. That's the spirit. Your friend Dennis signed up on his own. Your grades could do with some focus, too, Lauren. A chance to play with rockets? Count me in! What would my marks be like if I don't join? <laughs> uh, in that case, I'm ready for a liftoff. Bill. Bill. Huh? A package for cats? <laughs> Bill. Bill. <laughs> Slot 12. What's a flange? I think it's the pointy end. Oh. Hmm. Yours looks better. Rockets! I built one of these when I was a boy, and it looked just like yours, Coop. So that's where my rocket building talent comes from. Daddy! I can't find my glasses! Yo, honey, why don't you watch... <laughs> uh, listen to TV while I look for them, hmm? Okay, Daddy. Time to put these rockets to the test. Bye, Mr. B. See you, Dad. Remember, boys, it's not how they look, it's how they fly. Huh? I can't find the TV. Or the door. Or the house. 
Welcome to the Bootsville Observatory. I'm Professor Gazier. This is the long-range telescope I use for tracking anything in my region of the firmament. In fact, I was just about to observe satellite 686 currently in orbit over Bootsville. The observatory also has a separate control station that monitors and adjusts satellite orbits. Yes, Lauren? When do we get to fire rockets? Yeah, that's the only reason I'm here. You're not even in our class, Harley. Dude, if something is exploding, I'm there. Okay, then. Let's get right to it, shall we? This way, boy. <laughs> okay, Rocketeers, prepare to launch! Ooh, ooh, odds first. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> went for miles. Too bad we only count the distance traveled up. I'm next! Oh, look at it go! Yeah, all right! Good one, Dennis! <sighs> Commendable first attempt, Dennis. Cooper? Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> oh, we must have had tremendous acceleration to climb out of sight so... Oh. No worries. Remember, boys, the first launch is the hardest. Don't worry, Coop. You'll do better next time. I sure couldn't do any worse. <laughs> hey, Coop. How was your first rocket launch? A total bust, just like my grades. Well, don't give up, Coop. I've got just what you need. Uh, Millie, don't you think you're sitting a little close? What, Coop? I'm watching a show about ponies. Right. Well, it looks like a good one. Here you go, Coop. I knew these books would come in handy someday. Fuel combustion, engine design, aerodynamics. Of course, some of these books are pretty advanced. Thanks, Dad. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Don't stay up too late, sport. I won't. OK, linear interpolation between time thrust data points in a motor-specific profile. <laughs> Time to go to bed, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Cat, you're so soft, I could cuddle you all night. Son, morning, Millie. Whoa, I think that's enough milk, sweetie. Hope you're ready, Coop, because the family's coming to watch you set your next rocket record. Did the books help? They sure did. Help me get to sleep. Great, then let's blast off. Oh, boy. Let's go, Millie. I just have to finish my... Hey, someone ate all my cereal. <laughs> oh. ah! I'm just going to grab a piece of fruit instead. Oh, Mr. Cat, what are you doing in there? Ooh, your skin feels extra smooth today. Okay, Rocketeers. For your final launch, Mr. Gerber will be joining us to give you your final grades. That's right, class. Professor Gazier tells me you built some out-of-this-world rockets, and I'm ready to be impressed. <laughs> okay, everyone. Who's first? We'll go, Professor Gazier. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it'll come out the other end and shoot into the sky in China. Probably not. Your rocket building skills are extraordinary, boys. Your sense of direction, not so much. Okay, Dennis, you're next. 
Very impressive, Dennis. Looks like you're the new star of the Rocket Club. <laughs> okay, Coop, that leaves you. Five, four, three, two, one! Blast off. <laughs> <laughs> Good heavens, Cooper! You just broke the club record for highest altitude! Way to go, son! Wow, Coop, you've really improved! It's the same rocket! I didn't change anything! I don't understand how... <laughs> oh, no! Look! <laughs> I'm no rocket scientist, but I know that cat plus rocket equals bad. <laughs> I should have known you were behind this. Whatever it is you're up to ends here and now. Ah! You're trying to blow up that satellite. Ah! 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 That's my rocket. seems to have adjusted its course. It appears to be headed directly towards us. Oh. I don't understand how a model rocket could do so much damage. Beats me, too. And I was supposed to retrieve the satellite 6AB6 from its orbit over Bootsville. We'll need to rebuild the guidance computers. I guess that satellite will have to stay up there for a few more years. Ah. Yeah, don't say. <laughs> Come on, Coop. When are you going to launch your rocket? I'm ready to rock. Whoa! Wow, the whole town is auditioning for Sing Your Way to Stardom. We'd have been here first if we didn't have to wait for you. That's because someone's cat shredded all my clothes. Don't care. <laughs> you stay here, Mr. Cat. I can't wait any longer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Cut me in line, Harley, and I'll do your homework for two weeks. Three weeks. One week. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you for wishing me good luck. Not that I need any. I was talking to... To Millie, actually. Television. Ooh, am I on TV? Hi. I mean, I'm going to be on Senior Vital's Oh! oh. <laughs> Come back! I'm kicking the can again. Sheesh, <laughs> <laughs> she must have brought her brick collection. <laughs> Okay, Millie, let's go home. Okay. Guess what, Coopy? Ah, baby! When I sing on the show tomorrow, I am gonna dedicate my song to my very own lucky charm. You! Isn't that wonderful? Mwah. Ooh, this is news. Coop likes Phoebe. Oh, no. When the show is broadcast, everyone will think I like Phoebe. Coop, you need to relax. How can I? Phoebe's going to dedicate a song to me in front of the whole world. Coop and Phoebe sitting in a tree. Kiss them! <laughs> I'll never be able to show my face in public again. <laughs> ah, Phoebe, stop that. Hi, Coop. You going to watch me tonight? I'd like to, but I'm moving to Antarctica. Yeah, no TV there. Hmm, you must be nervous. 
I, I mean, what happens if you hit a sour note or something? What can go wrong when I have my own lucky charm? Bye bye! Hey, yo, are you ready? Ready? Oh, my, my life is over! I don't know what's going on with the reception. At this rate, we're gonna miss the show. Hey, Dad. Uh, TV broken? <laughs> <laughs> no problemo, kids. I think I saw some spare parts in the basement. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this stuff looks useful. Face it, Coop. Everyone's gonna see Phoebe dedicate that song to you no matter what. Boy, I found stuff I didn't even know I had down there. Now, where do you suppose this goes? <laughs> Oop, not there. <laughs> not there either. Come on, Coop. You can lose yourself in our new 500 channel high def flat screen TV. Whoa. Dad got this universal remote. Huh? It can hack into any electrical device, override the operating code, and take it over. Coming up, the pre-show pre-show for oh, Senior the channel. Coming up, the pre-show pre-show for Senior Sorry again. Way to Not again. It's on every channel. There's no escape. Forget the TV. Let's go play with my remote-controlled cars. <laughs> When this show airs, everyone in town, no, everyone in the world is gonna think I like Phoebe. Ugh. Not if we stop it at the source. Dennis, that's brilliant! Let's go to the satellite truck. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Resist watching people sing in the comfort of their own home from the comfort of your own home. It's Sing Your Way to Stardom. Our first is Andre in Paris. Do we me. <laughs> Ooh, another dream spins down the drain. We'll be right. That does it. If we're gonna watch Phoebe on Sing Your Way to Stardom, then we have to think big. Come on, sweetie. Hurry, Dennis! He's coming back for more! Okay, let's see. Is it Dad's shirt size? No. Mom's birthday? What about... You uh, late! I am so grounded. It's time to clean house. Rolle! All distracted, you take out the batteries. Oh, 
up there? You must be using that satellite dish to expand the universal remote's control. <laughs> What kind of evil is Cat planning with that universal remote? More importantly, how are we gonna stop Phoebe's broadcast signal? Huh. The signal's no good if the dishes can't receive it. We could short out all the dishes by reflecting their signal back at them. Brilliant, and it'll mess up Cat's plan too. But how are we gonna reflect? Oh, why settle for one mirror when you can have a whole mirror ball? Great. We're traveling all the way to Bootsville to meet our final contestant. Hey! Oh. Oh. Huh? Am I dreaming? Oh, somebody pinched me. Ow! I said pinch me! My bad. There! has Phoebe Fever for our final competitor, Phoebe! I would like to sing a tribute to an extra special someone. <laughs> His name is and I love him. I sing this song for my Way to go, Phoebe. Someone out there is one lucky... <laughs> we'll be right back. That hubcap satellite dish I rigged up sure did the trick. Yeah! <laughs> and the winner is... The Kid in the Shower! Way to go! Yeah, French guy! Chicken with a steamroller. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> there, there, sweetie. Mr. Cat will be back when he's done doing whatever it is silly little kitties get up to. What's he talking about? My yard's in great shape. Come on, Phoebe, let's get to the bottom of this. Dad! You won't find me in here. There's a bald squirrel in my updo! Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> he might be back here. <laughs> Coop, what's all this nonsense about yard work? Of course you can go to Phoebe's party. Did I say yard work? I meant hard work. <laughs> 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 
Let's do it for shop class. Bye. Uh, yeah. He sure is serious about his studies. Uh huh. <laughs> How much longer are you gonna hide out here, Coop? Uh, until Phoebe's party is over. Great. What's that behind your back? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Woo! Oh, so there you are. Millie, Mr. Cat is back, safe and sound. <laughs> Huh? Time to play Lion Tamer! Ooh. Well, if I were Cat, I'd make myself scarce, too. You don't say. What did he get? Let's see. Wrapping paper, paper clips, twist ties. He's got a thing for yarn. And he took the Nepotecateria out of my favorite vase. Dennis, what's Nepotecateria? Uh, it's catnip. Catnip? Figures. Old Lady Munson is right. It is a cat burglar. And we're going to catch him in the act. Sorry, uh, I'm kind of busy. I uh, have to help my dad with yard work. See ya, Coop. But yard work? Hey, that's my excuse. Hi, hey, Coop. I came to tell you there's still time to make it to my sweetheart party. Sorry, I uh, gotta iron my socks. See ya. <laughs> what? <laughs> That was close. <gasps> right now! Nepeta Kataria? So you are the cat burglar! I knew it! Why would you steal a rose? Oh, has Kitty got a goop wrench? <laughs> <laughs> your extra special guest. He sure is. I'm so glad you came, Coop. Ah! Huh? Morning, Harley. Dennis, what are you doing here? I couldn't help myself. The invitation said there'd be cake. But we had to wait till Phoebe's extra special guest got here. Took you long enough, Burton Burger. And the cookie and the pink peppermint milkshake, Cooper Dooper. Yeah, Cooper Dooper. <laughs> Right here, Poopy Pie. I'll get you another milkshake and a cookie. Hey, what is it with you and all this sweetheart stuff? Oh, hello, Mr. Cat. There you are. You stopped disappearing on me. Here, have a milkshake. I'll go get you some cookies. For me? <gasps> Thank you, Koopy Whoopy. And it's exactly like the one I got for you. You really do like me, too. Uh. <laughs> oh, come back! Ah! Cat, your crime spree and 
ends here and now. Shop is a long way to go to avoid Phoebe's sweetheart party. But, Dad, I did end up going to Phoebe's party. More than once. You did? Well, I guess that's punishment enough. We'll build a new shed tomorrow. a challenge for Master Chef Burtonburger. Yowza! Nice! Hey, Daddy! Woof. And now the sausage shuffle. Hup, hup, hup. Hey. <laughs> mm. Next up, the toast toss. Yay. Daddy, we're out of fishy frisky bits. Again? 
Are we feeding a cat or a cat army? <laughs> Toast is up. Dig in, kids, before it gets cold. <laughs> Coop, I know you're a growing boy, but you could have saved some for us. But, Dad! Cat! Sausages. <laughs> Nobody messes with a burden burger breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> nice belly flop. What's the matter? You little out of shape? Too fat to get up. <laughs> Who knew fatty foods would stop the attacks? You can't even move. Dad, Millie, check out that. Holy cow! Literally. Hmm. According to Let the Fat Out of the Cat, unless Mr. Cat's a baby walrus, he's seriously overweight. Oh, don't listen to him, Mr. Cat. There's just more of you to hug. Looks like Mr. Cat could use a little workout. We'll have him thin again in no time. Hey, Millie, you know what Mr. Cat needs to help him with his workout? Energy food. Mm -hmm. ah! Wow, <laughs> Mr. Cat likes human food. <laughs> Who's ready to fight some flab? Mr. Cat is! That was just a warm-up, Mr. Cat. You've still got some sausage to work off. Go, Cat, go! You can do it! And a one, and a two, and a three! He's actually losing weight. I gotta keep Cat fat. Hey, Millie, Mr. Cat's doing great. He just needs a little motivation to shed those extra pounds. But aren't these bad for Mr. Cat? He needs energy to exercise, doesn't he? Are you sure? Absolutely. Mr. Cat want a treat now? <laughs> oh, yes, he does. <laughs> Mr. Cat? <laughs> Eat up. You'll need your energy. And hop up. <laughs> How does that feel, Mr. Cat? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're doing great. Feel the burn. <laughs> After all that exercise, Cat should be slim, trim, and back destroying anything remotely valuable in no time. <laughs> Not if I can help it. Wow, we could run around to him for exercise. Wait a minute. You've been rewarding him with these? Well, no wonder he's the size of a whale. From now on, Mr. Cat gets diet cat food. <laughs> Daddy, Mr. Cat thinks it's yucky. Well, Mr. Cat should have thought of that when he was stuffing himself like a turkey. I'll take care of you. It's counting down to something evil. What the heck is that noise? Bad, Mr. Cat. No fishy, frisky bits till you lose weight. We're going to the store to get more cat food. Tofu flavor. <laughs> Ew. I think we're going to need professional help. Here, sweetie. Let's put Mr. Cat in the kitty carrier so we can take him to the vet. Uh, nice. Uh, easy. Come. Come on. Come on. Come on. My back. Maybe 
Mr. Cat will be happier staying at home. Okay. See you later, Mr. Cat. Bye! I know all about your evil plan. Well, the details are a bit fuzzy since I don't know what meow, meow means. But whatever it is, you're not getting away with it. <gasps> Just sweat the weight off cat without destroying the neighborhood. Good! The bat is melting off, Mr. Cat. Boy carrot sticks, Daddy. Don't mind if I do. At this rate, cat will be back to his old self in no time. <laughs> it was good while well it lasted. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, kids! We're gonna be late! Coming! Happy Bootsville Day, Dad! Happy Bootsville Day, Coop! Boot <laughs> Everything's packed. Barbecue coals, giant pancake flippers, spare boots, Hmm, bug repellent. Well, we can't forget that or the mosquitoes will have us for lunch. Got it! Phew! <laughs> <laughs> Bootsville's founder, Jean-Guy Laboot's own secret recipe. Did I ever tell you I almost got to play Laboot in the Bootsville Days reenactment? Only about a hundred times. Overcome with hunger and mosquitoes, he loses his boot in the murky swamp. But did he give up? No! Laboot fought off those pesky insects and went on to found our beloved Bootsville. Yeah, I didn't get the part, but uh, this year, I'm finally gonna see a Burton burger behind the beard. Gentlemen and cat, the star of today's festival, Millie Burton Burger! Da 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 da! I still don't get why they let a girl play Laboot. Her audition was the best. Although yours was pretty, uh, memorable. <laughs> After months of brave exploring, I, I jumped in Laboot and lost and hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Do I 
get the part? <laughs> well, Cap, what did you about her in my costume? And... You can't blame overacting on the cat, son. But you've still got a very important job. Mosquito Wrangler! Think you're up to it, sport? Up for bouncing the mosquito while Millie takes the glory? Sure. <laughs> That's the spirit! Ah, uh, my two stars. Well, my star and her behind the scenes one Coop of X crew. Face it, Coop. Some people are born for the spotlight, like me, and others are stuck holding the bug, like you. Grabbing everything you see. All right, guys, hands out. Yeah! Ah, nothing says buzz off better than Laboot's bug repellent. Ah, your turn, Mr. Cat. Ah! Hey! Yeah! <laughs> Just wait till the mosquitoes start biting. Then we'll see who's laughing. Hey, Coop, I thought I smelled you guys over here. There's plenty to go around, Henry. Uh, none of that goof for me, Bert. I've got my own high-tech answers to the mosquito problem. Mosquito netting, mosquito finder, and my homemade bug zapper. There's my little star. Hi, Mrs. Munson. Or should I say, Madam Director? More like Madam Dictator. Burton Burger, all you have to do is wiggle the mosquito while yeah. Millie beats the tar out of it. So don't mess up. Let's see. You three, you've got a giant pancake to make. Get moving! Yes, ma'am! Step aside! The star of the show is coming through! And her brother. <laughs> I stake out your dressing room, sweetie. Do you need anything else? Oh, nothing. Except a cushion, a makeup mirror, and swamp berries. Peeled. Uh, well, what are you standing around for? I'm a mosquito wrangler, not a butler. You can't expect a star to get her own swamp berries. <coughs> no, ma'am. Then hop to it! Mosquitoes away, Henry. Uh, hey, Coop, what's up? I'm fetching swamp berries for Bootsville's newest colossal mega talent, Millie. And don't forget to peel them! What? Swamp berry syrup doesn't stop itself? Coop, we're confused. Do we call you Cat Boy or Bug Boy now? Ha <laughs> ha. How does it feel to lose the starring role to your little sister? You know, the Mosquito Wrangler's a pretty important part, too. <laughs> <laughs> that does it! Where are you going, Coop? Does it matter? I'm just the guy who bounces the bug. <laughs> I'll show them. I'll be the best Jean Guy Laboot they've ever seen. <laughs> Should have gone for the bug repellent, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Boot, 
am lost and hungry in this dank swamp. But Jean Guillebout never gives up. Where the heck is that good for nothing Burton Burger kid with the bug? <laughs> oh, where's a windshield when you need one? Millie getting all the glory, but I'm missing my cue to shake the mosquito puppet. And it's all your fault! Good boy. <laughs> he almost took our heads off. You're not gonna let him get away with that, are you? <laughs> Cat! Now it's my turn to bug you! Giving swamp berries, and I declare them tasty. But ooh, ooh, my boot is now stuck. <laughs> Mrs. Munson, I couldn't find Coop anywhere. Well, you've got the mosquito. Get shaken. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Bigger this year. They are bigger this year! Ah! I told you, Henry, should have used the bug repellent. No! Get him! I think they're done being told what to do. Son, those were the most amazing mosquito effects ever. Thanks, Dad. Burton Burger, nice job with the special effects. You're in charge of mosquito wrangling every year. Uh... Hello! Star of the show over here. Bravo, Millie! Yeah, good job, Millie. You make a great jean Le Boots. Thanks, Coop. <laughs> How about a little bug repellent, Cat? We wouldn't want you getting bitten again now, would we? You know what? The mosquitoes are pretty big this year. Maybe you need a little more. <laughs> Check it out, Coop. The new Captain Blastroid Limited Edition Bigger Bang Bubble Blowing Helmet's coming out. Cool! It says here it blows bubbles up to four feet wide. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, man. <laughs> it comes with bubblegum wipers, too. Burning? Eh. The Captain Blasteroid Guide to the Unknown Galaxies quiz. Okay. In what episode did the Captain battle Zergonus and his extra double evil doppelganger? Uh, 62? Me! Wrong! Zergonus Squid was in episode 148, double your double trouble. Was that? Nah. Couldn't be. What colors are the four frozen rivers of the planet Quartoff? Easy. Purple. Wrong again. 
It's a trick question. Rudolph has no color. How does she know? How did the captain destroy Fear Gone 5? Giggle gas! Who is the Jolly Roger droid? Captain Robot's pirate uncle. What's a silicone sun? The best darn desert in the galaxy. She's right! Why would old Lady Munson know so much about Captain Blasteroid? Maybe she's been replaced by a shape-shifting Doppler beast. One weird creature in my life is plenty. Hey, watch the comics! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Coming, Coop! Captain Blastroid versus the Moon Ladies of Luna 4? Too valuable. Captain Blastroid, planetary prisoner? This is a good one. Get him! <laughs> oh, not the TV! Oh, right! How'd you like a taste of Captain Blastroid meets Pee Wee Poodle, Dad? Binding space string? Only a blastroid string flinger glove can fire this stuff. It's here! It's here! Oh, it's here! Booster rockets for justice! Blast off for freedom! The Captain Blasteroid salute! <laughs> You shouldn't play with that string flinger glove, Growler. I might have disintegrated you with my CB blaster. She's got a limited edition figure bank bubble blowing helmet. They're not even out yet. How did old Lady Munson get access to top secret prototype blasteroid technology? You want to ah! be in Mrs. Munson's yard? I'm telling Daddy. So am I. Hooligans! Uh, of course, old Lady M I, I mean, Mrs. Munson. It won't happen again. Wow. That woman is from another planet entirely. But, Dad, old Lady Munson's got all the coolest new blasteroid gear. Coop, the last thing she cares about is your favorite TV show. Now promise me you'll stay away from her. <sighs> okay. Access denied. You are not official space doggy, Growler. <laughs> Dennis, someone's at Old Lady Munson's. <laughs> Can you get a positive ID? I'll try. Hey, Cat's going for a suitcase. Why would he care about luggage? No, not shoe kitty, that's mine. The Captain Blasteroid logo. Coop, what's happening? Captain Blasteroid is in Bootsville. But why would he go see Old Lady Munson? She must have lured him into some kind of trap. We gotta do something! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You boys wouldn't be going over to Old Lady Munson's, would you? Uh, nope. <laughs> Just heading back upstairs. Good. Just keep right on walking. Mr. Cat! Mrs. Munson invited us over for tea with their special friend. What? what? Captain will be trapped with Old Lady Munson and Cat. Prepare for operation. Save Captain Blasteroid! What? Just admiring your lovely outfit, Millie. And your hair is almost perfect. Let me just fix it up. There. Hands off my hair! La 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 Is it working? Yeah. Hello, Millie dear. Come right in. Yes! Have some lemonade, sweetie. Hey, there's a CB blaster. Cat with a CB blaster? Not good. Well, hello there, Mr. Curious. This must be yours, young lady. That's the ugliest hair clip I've ever seen. And I don't like snoops. No! no! Dennis? 
We're going in. How do we get past the scanner? Easy. With this and this. Access granted. Welcome home, Space Doggy Growler. <laughs> Who wants to see an advanced copy of the new Captain Blasteroid movie? <gasps> ooh, ooh, me! Then I can spoil it for Coop. Oh, she's eviler than Cat. Come on, Dennis. Freeze, Cat! We got you surrounded! Wow! Old Lady Munson's attic is exactly like Captain Blasteroid's mission control! <laughs> Stick to cat toys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give it up, cat. <laughs> They're just harmless TV props. <laughs> Commando. Wow. Uh, thanks, Captain. Well, boys, Get I. Open this door right now. Uh, 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 coming, Auntie Munson. <laughs> Auntie Munson? How can someone so cool be related to Old Lady Munson? <laughs> ah, ah, my replica mission control. I'll have your delinquents thrown in the pokey for this. But Cat was going to use Blasteroid technology to destroy us all. And then there'd be no more Captain Blasteroid or... I take it you boys are fans of my show. Yes? Well, I think we've learned some important lessons here. First, that my show is popular with beings of all ages, shapes, and sizes. Second, sneaking around leads to hurt feelings and broken toys. You see... Ah, stop flapping your yap, Dwight! We're not on TV now! <clears throat> yes, Auntie. You hooligans get to work cleaning this mess up! Inspections in one hour! Yes, Mrs. Munson! Oh, man, we finally get to meet our hero, and we end up sweeping his floor! I know! Isn't it cool? Coop, you broke your promise. Looks like you'll be defending the galaxy from your bedroom for the next two months. You're grounded. <sighs> Ooh, balloon kitty! <laughs> Captain Blasteroid Super Saucer! Here, get it! Sorry! Whoops! Sorry! That's okay! Sorry! 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 Okay, Dennis, here comes the Burton Burger Bullet! <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Scallywag, are you getting fresh with me? <laughs> Like you're dead all of a sudden, huh? <laughs> What's with Cap? Well, I've been trying to figure that one out ever since he moved in. Hey, Coop! Wait till you see what I got from the house of Swap! Meow! What is it? What's going on, Daddy? Meow! Check it out! <laughs> Boy, these old hinges need some oil. <gasps> My very own drum set! Thanks, Dad! I had a drum set when I was your age, and I used to bash it up day and night! What did you play, Henry? Oh! <laughs> It's me, Dennis, Mr. Burtonberger. I just look like my dad right now. Daddy, where's my present? Oh, uh, well, Millie, uh, I... Oh! We'll go back and get you something of your own, okay? Yay! <gasps> but first, I better fix this squeaky trunk. <laughs> there she is, Coop, and here's your sticks. All right! You want to stay and watch? Uh, later, son. We're going to go back and see if we can't find something for Millie at the House of Swap. And it'll be way better than dumb old drums. Have fun! Makes a guy thirsty. <laughs> <Hell yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> huh, back to the old skins. <laughs> My new drums. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> <laughs> Cat, got an earache? Huh. Then I guess I shouldn't do this. Do you want to get away from the noise? Maybe you should just leave then. Okay, have it your way. You know, Cat, there's a lot of noisy things in this house. I'll find something in this house you can't destroy. Can Where are you going, Cat? He wants to hear a song, Millie. Okay. Hey, Mr. Cat looks kind of sick. Uh, well, did you know singing makes sick kitties better? Really? I can sing. You sure can. And that's one noisemaker you can't destroy. Ladies and gentlemen, Millie! I'm singing for Mr. Cat. I'm a dog or Mr. Cat. But he's a baby, can I watch? Mr. Cat. singing well, he's in a lot of Japan. Sweet potato. I'm trying to make Mr. Cat feel better by singing, Daddy. Well, then, I've got just the thing to help. My old clarinet. Together with your singing, Millie, this is sure to help Cat with... <laughs> whatever's bugging him. Wait, I want to play, too. Let's jam. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Look, it's working. <laughs> Mr. Cat's even dancing. <laughs> Take 
take this outside and have a parade. Now I'm singing outside. I like my French fries fried. There is no way yeah. you can hide from my love with singing. <laughs> Cut off that bracket! Oh, oh Lady Munson! Hello, Mrs. Munson. Oh, hello, Millie dear. Millie was just giving Mr. Cat a little singing therapy, old lady. Yeah, uh, Mrs. Munson. Ooh, I didn't bother you, did I? You could never bother me, Millie dear. You, on the other hand, stop strangling that clarinet! If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a clarinet! <laughs> <laughs> Take a lesson! I was third chair in the high school band, I'll have you know! Huh, guess I better take my clarinet inside. Where'd I put it anyway? And where's Mr. Cat? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Ooh, I can sing my Where Are You, Mr. Cat song! <gasps> Where are you, Mr. Cat? <laughs> I think she's lost her voice. Come on, Pumpkin. Your throat needs warm tea, honey, and a long, long rest. I need to sing Mr. Cat all better. Great. Now what am I going to use to get rid of Cat? Shh. <laughs> uh, looks like it's up to me for an encore. <laughs> I am running very fast from a deadly alien cat. He is going to bring me to, so I run into my room. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> ah! You better back off, Cat, or I'll tell Dad what you did to my drum set. Mm. Yeah? Well, get a here full of this. <laughs> okay. Okay? That was quite a fall. Unfortunately, I think Cat's feeling a lot better. Thank you, thank you. And now for my encore! No! Always leave your fans wanting more, Sweet Pea. I'm tired of karaoke anyway. <laughs> Hello? What you got there? My violin! Yeah, how about later, sweetie? Let's see what's on TV. Coop! I was enjoying the peace and quiet anyways. Weren't you? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Coop! It was the cat! Right. Daddy, come quick! What is it? What's wrong? What? Coop! It was the cat! Hmm. Daddy, hurry! Coop's fighting with Mr. Cat again! Again? It's 
It's not even 8.30 yet. Better work on your I know, son. It was the cat. That's what I've been telling you all along. You're coming with me, Buster. No, Daddy. It was Coop's fault. It's always Coop's fault, remember? Not this time. I saw the whole thing. I've never seen a cat behave like that. Must be unique to his breed. Maybe it's time we find Mr. Cat a new home. <laughs> no! I'm sorry, Millie, but if they can't get along, we'll have to send Mr. Cat away for good. <gasps> okay, okay, Millie, stop! Mr. Cat can stay? Only if he and Coop can learn to get along. I found this article in Gentle Parental Magazine. Maybe it's worth a try. The secrets of horse whispering? They say it can tame even the wildest horses. Just meow when it tells you to neigh. Cat's owner. I want a win! Sorry, Peanut. It has to be your brother. Okay, if you say so. Good. <clears throat> Look into the animal's eyes and see their true selves within. I'm looking, and I'm scared by what I'm seeing. Now whisper a gentle yet firm suggestion. How would you like the animal to behave? Hear that? We both know we'll never get along. Sayonara, cat. I tried, Dad, but... What did you do to him? Nothing, I just whispered. Huh? Oh, I think it worked. No way. You're not fooling anybody. By golly, Coop, you really are a cat whisperer. Oh, really? We'll see about that. La, 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 la. So, you're well behaved now. I don't buy it. Hey, Dad, watch this. Sit, <laughs> beg, <laughs> roll over. <laughs> huh? Coop, now you've made Mr. Cat dirty. Hmm. Oh, no! You're right! Maybe we should give him a bath. Coop, there's no denying it. Mr. Cat is under your spell. But I want him under my spell. Oh, Mr. Cat hates water. Oh, no. Mr. Cat loves bath time. Unless, of course, Mr. Cat wants Dad to send him away. Wow! I never thought I'd see that. Me neither. Here you are, Mr. Cat. A big bowl of fishy, frisky bits. Uh-uh-uh. I've got something special for Mr. Cat. You'll like this. And you have to eat it because I whispered it. Hot sauce. Mr. Cat! <laughs> you have ruined Mr. Cat! Weird. More tea, Millie? Millie? Hm. It's not fair. I should be the cat whisperer, not Coop. Coop is a cat whisperer? found some dumb article in TV. <gasps> That's right, everyone abandon Millie! Got it! Hello? Huh, I guess no one... Ah! Baby! Hi, Coop. Honey Fluff is super sad. I bet a whisper from you would make her all better. Uh, sorry. I'm a one-cat whisperer. Go on, Coop. You can do it. Look how well it worked on Cat. He's not a good cat. He's just faking it so you won't kick him out. 
Wow, Coop! That's amazing! <sighs> okay, I'll prove to you I'm no cat whisperer and that I can't fix honey oh. fluff. <laughs> Go on, son. Work your magic. You gotta believe me. Watch! Uh, cheer up. See? Nothing happened. I don't have any special power. Come here, baby! <gasps> you do have special powers! <gasps> but... but that's impossible. <laughs> There's no way I had anything to do with this. Is there? I am the Cat Whisperer! Got it! <gasps> Hello, Cat Whisperer. Ah, Phoebe! I told the whole street about your power. If you whisper, they will come. My snake thinks it's a balloon animal. Uh, I hate poodles! My llama won't behave. He's a bit of a bitter. My turtle is claustrophobic. Cachatori is scared of chickens! <laughs> but, but I only do cats. Come on. Cat whispering is just like lizard whispering or worm whispering. Well, I guess, but... Hey! You the pet whisperer? I got a big problem. And I mean big! Poop, the animals need you. You're their only home. Whisper! 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 Okay, okay. Leave your animals here, and the pet whisperer will have them fixed in no time. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Go! Llama! Kangaroo! What's going on in here? Go! <laughs> when did our nice, quiet house become a zoo? The town has heard of my whispering powers, Father. Well, I want you to whisper these animals right out of here. It shall be done. Okay, Snake, quit hanging around. It's time to go. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, hey, Llama, time to leave. Oh. Hit the road, hound dog. Oh. Oh. Whoa, giraffe, watch where you're going. Oh. Why isn't this working? I'm whispering as loud as I can. I knew it! Oh no! I hope that's not the owners! <laughs> ah! Things 
are back to normal. Now we can use the insurance money to renovate. I want a game room! Ooh, I want a princess castle! Kids, a job that big means I'll need some special helpers. Hear that, Mr. Cat? We're gonna be Daddy's special helpers! Game room, here I come! Dad, you can count on me. Remember, son, measure twice, cut one. Got it, Dad! Uh-oh! Special for Lily and Mr. Cat reporting for duty, Daddy. I'll hold that. Let's go, Lily! I'm helping Daddy, too! Or not! I, too! Or not! Do it! Do it! Or not! Do it! Do it! Enough now! There's room for two helpers. Hmm. Here's an important job, Sweet Pea. Glue these together and hold them tight till they're dry. Okay, Daddy. You can help spread the glue, Mr. Cat. And Coop, bring me one of those two by fours. One two by four coming through. <laughs> yes, but not through the wall. <laughs> it was. Uh, yeah! Okay, that one was me. You sure picked the wrong assistant for that job, Daddy. That food? Cat's hiding fishy frisky bits in the wall. Who knows what else we'll find in here? More food or... Maybe even some dangerous space weapons. Don't be silly. Obviously, the builders put it in there as insulation. <laughs> Looks like you're stuck with me, Mr. Cat. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I'll help, Daddy. Slow down, Millie. You have to be aware of everything around you on a construction site. Ugh. Coop, if you want that game room, you have to behave. I can always make a cat's bedroom instead. It's one of cat's evil weapons. See, Dad? I told you that cat's up to no good. What I see is a hand vacuum. I must have left it there when I vacuumed cat hair out of the vents. Uh, cat doesn't have hair? <laughs> no, right. Well, at least now you can use the vacuum to clean up your mess. Come on, Millie, let's get some drywall to patch that hole. <laughs> you think that's funny, Tuna Breath? <laughs> Whoa. Dad? Dad! <laughs> no! Oh, come on. How hard could it be to vacuum? Dad, that was no vacuum. It was a lethal vaporizing ray gun built by that sinister mutant mole. Right. A mutant mole who plays with balls of yarn. Dad, come quick! What 
now, son. Uh, can I get you a hammer? Yes. Looking good. <laughs> uh, let's just finish. The best thing about painting is the house is your canvas. That's why I'm painting a giant mural of Mr. Cat. <laughs> uh, thanks to you, I'm stuck on cleanup duty. How lame is that? <sighs> I've been right all along. Behind schedule, what with all the extra repair work. I shouldn't lose my princess castle just because Coop's a klutz. It's Cat's fault. Coop, forget the cat, or your game room becomes the cat room. We'll do, Dad. I promise. Good then. Break's over. Remember, no more catastrophes. <laughs> get it? <laughs> Good one, Dad. First, I'm gonna get that game room. Then I'm gonna get you. <laughs> okay, Millie, let her rip. One princess tower and one game room. Give me five. Now let's go check on your brother. <laughs> so, what do you think, sport? Awesome, Dad. My new game room is the coolest. I'm proud of you, kiddo. You put your nose to the grindstone and manage not to destroy anything else. Much. And now I'm gonna make dinner in my new kitchen! Woo! <laughs> no, I can live with being the only one who knows Cat's secret, as long as I have this. Oh no! No! That's it! When Dad sees your little ice ray in action, he'll have to believe me! Dad! Time to defrost that fridge. Coop, did you take my tiara? You can run, but you can't slide! Gotcha! This one Coop wrecking crew is gonna de-weaponize you once and for all. Unless, of course, you have all your weapons ready to use on me. Ha! <laughs> 
I was hoping the Princess Castle would last longer than six minutes, son. That's the end of your game room, too. But, 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 cat! No more butts. Just clean. But, but... I'm so excited about Bring Your Parents to School Day, Coop. I get to be a student all over again. Just think, writing tests, playing dodgeball, and cafeteria food. Mm. I know I seem to mess up at home all the time, Dad, but I think you're gonna be really impressed with what a good student I am. Especially since there won't be anyone or anything around to wreck it. Huh? Who drank all the milk? <laughs> it's carrier time, Miss. Taking Mr. Cat for a visit to the vet, Millie? <laughs> I'm bringing Mr. Cat in for show and tell. What? That rodent reject isn't going anywhere near my school. It's my school, too. And Mr. Cat is too coming. No way! Yes, way! Kids, kids! He's a cat, not a wishbone. Ah. Coop, Mr. Cat will be with Millie, and I'll be with you. You won't even see each other. But, okay. This is gonna be fun. My brain is like a sponge, just waiting to soak up all this knowledge. Well, mine's like a bottomless bucket. The more I put in, the more I can hold. Oh, you guys can brag about your empty heads all you want. All I know is it's math, gym, science, art class, and then... Freedom! Woohoo! Well, that cat's so ugly, it'd make an onion cry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bert! No cutting! Last one of their locker is a rotten running shoe! This should be interesting. <laughs> oh. Welcome to math class. I'm Miss Branigan. Please settle down. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, I was quite the math whiz at your age. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, again. Don't make me stand you in the corner, Mr. Burtonberger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the fun one. Train A leaves Empire City for Bootsville at 70 miles per hour, 260 miles away. Train B leaves Bootsville, heading to Empire City at 60 miles per hour. When do the trains meet? Anyone? Oh! oh! Lorne? The trains meet a second before the big explosion when they crash into each other. Whammo! <laughs> My son, the genius. Uh, sorry, no. Uh, Coop, the trains meet in two hours. Distance over rate equals time. That's right. Way to go, Coop. Uh, chip off the old block. This is my day to shine, and Cat's not gonna stop me. And now, I'd like you to meet the bestest cat in the whole world. The one, the only, Mr. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing Mr. Cat in, Millie. I still have to take Mr. Cat around the class so everyone can pet him. No! I think, I think you should put him back in his carrier. Right now! Here are last week's test papers. Yours shows improvement, Lorne. 52! Score! Cool! 90%! Hear that, Bert? 90%! I got 91? 91 percent! Woohoo! Unison! Unison! Woo Come on, Lorne! I don't want the show-offs rubbing off on you. Can I take Mr. Cat out for recess? Oh, no, Millie. Your dangerous, uh, delightful pet must stay here. You heard teacher, Mr. Cat. She's the boss around here. Recess! <laughs> Now, you just stay quiet in there. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of new stuff this year. Wait till you see, Dad. That's the climbing wall. You can do it, Dad. <laughs> and there's a trampoline. And this is the pitching machine for baseball practice. Wow. I wish they had this stuff when I was your age. 
Form two teams. It's time for some dodgeball. Not yet. Sorry, coach. <laughs> Prepare to go down, Burton loser. Not today, I won't. I'm on a roll. Begin dodging. <laughs> <laughs> One stone! uses a howitzer for a pitching machine. Seriously. How could he just go wild like that? It's a mystery. Dad, Daddy, Mr. Cat is missing. Mystery solved. Mr. Cat. Here, Mr. kitty, 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 kitty. Huh, what was that? Nothing, son. I don't know why you're so jumpy. Cat's on the loose, and I'm a sitting duck. What more do you need to know? I'm sure Mr. Cat just, mm, something smells good. Is it lunch period yet? But we Mr. Cat. Well, Millie, I'll bet Mr. Cat will turn up when he gets hungry. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Cream chip beef on toast. Just the way I remember it. Yuck. It's probably from the same batch they served back then. Tastes the same. Maybe I can get the recipe. <laughs> Too fancy schmancy for me. Don't worry, Coop. What can Cat do in front of the whole school? Do I really need to answer that, Dennis? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, let me get that, Dad. Mine, too. Didn't die. Oh. <gasps> Cat, I'm not gonna let you ruin my chance to show Dad I'm a good... Hey, give that back. <laughs> Here comes the heat. Oh, no. You are so gonna get creamed, Coop. Yeah, creamed with chips, beef, food, bye. Hey! Oh. I'm impressed, Coop. You're taking responsibility for your actions. Here, let me give you a hand. Oh, thanks, Dad. You're not gonna just let Cat get away with this, are you? Nope, but the only way to stop Cat is to lure him into the open. I just have to find the right moment. Hello, parents. Welcome to science class. Today's lesson is a real thriller. <laughs> there he is. Learn behavior in animals. <laughs> Who's the lucky student who will demonstrate the mice's ability to negotiate a maze? I will. All right, Cooper, come on up. You know, when I was Coop's age, I was a whiz-bang at science. I'm sure you were, Mr. Burtonberger, but I think it would be better if you moved to the back so you don't distract the rest of the class. <sighs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Cooper. So what we have here is a juicy, succulent mouse. A real tasty morsel for any feline predator. So now we... Whoops! Plus for resourcefulness, Cooper. Accidents happen, but your controlled explosion frightened the mice right back into their cage. Yeah, uh, Coop? You 
won't get away this time! Alright, Cat. Playtime is over. my multimedia collage before the end of the day. Uh, very artistic, son. You found Mr. Cat! Aw, oh, he looks so pretty. Yup, and best of all, for once, Cat gets framed instead of me. I'm <laughs> proud of you, son. You handled yourself really well today. What do you say we get some ice cream, hmm? <clears throat> After our detention. <laughs> Derby. Last time I checked, you were a daughter. But I want to go, too! It's a tradition, Millie. I won the Derby with your grandpa when I was a kid. Now I'm gonna win it with Dad. You bet, son. Don't worry, sweetie. Old Lady Munson is gonna keep an eye on you. Mrs. Munson? Okay, have fun. Huh, that was easy. Kinda scary easy. Hmm. How'd this lure get in here? Ready, Coop? That trophy is as good as ours. Away we go! <laughs> this is gonna be great! Maybe we'll even catch a glimpse of Bongo Boingo! Bongo Boingo? Bootsville legend tells of a giant creature that dwells at the bottom of Owl Lake. Of course, no one's actually ever seen it. Oh, look at the size of that bubble. Wanna bet I can make it splash higher than the car? <laughs> Woo ah! hmm. Never heard the car make that sound before. Ooh, more puddles! <laughs> <laughs> Oops, must have backed up a bit too far. Oh well, no harm done. Fisherman's handshake! There's a fisherman's handshake? It's easy. Squeeze my pinky, grab my thumb, look out, fish, cause here we go! <gasps> Ow! Howdy, Bert! Nice of you to show up to watch tennis and I win the derby! All the expensive gadgets in the world won't help you win, Henry. So much for father-son bonding. Yeah, they never quit. When this derby's over, the name Burtonburger will be etched on that fishing trophy again. You it will, Daddy. Millie Burtonburger. Millie? Millie? Old oh, Lady Munson! Munson. Uh, but, Mrs. Munson, this is the father-son fishing derby. Are you suggesting we aren't tough enough to compete against the rest of you weaselly man boys? No. Didn't think so. Attention! The 54th Annual Owl Lake Father-Son Fishing Derby is about to begin. Come on, Millie. Time to teach these men a thing or two about fishing. You said it, Mrs. Munson. Ready, son? Ready. Let's get fishing! Yay! <laughs> you know, Millie, when I was your age, I came within a cat's whisker of catching Bongo Boingo. Bongo what so? The dreaded monster of our lake. All 300 slimy pounds of him. That's okay, Dad. You have enough while we fish. Yeah, Dad. Catch some Z's. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell Coop. Our real Dad won't go near the lake. He's afraid of Bongo Boingo. Who we're not. Nope. And we're gonna get footage of him. <laughs> then we'll sell it around the world and be billionaires. Uh. Huh. Whoop. 
Sorry, Dad. Secret safe with me. Got everything? Everything we need to win. Then let's go. <laughs> My state-of-the-art microwave sonar fish finder should do the trick. Microwave? Aren't you supposed to catch the fish before you cook them? <laughs> Sorry, Dad. That was a pretty good one. The secret to fishing is thinking like a fish. Let me get into character. <gasps> I'm swimming. I'm hungry. What am I hungry for? Uh, let's see here. Wibbly Wibbler? Overbiter? <gasps> Dancing Flitwick? Whoa, this one's cool. Back off, you Sunday drivers! Yeah, and all you Monday and Tuesday drivers, too. I'm trying! I'm trying! Oh, what's the matter, Henry? A little tied up? Uh, Dad, a little help? Oh, that's a mess. Let me give you a hand, Sport. Uh, I bet it's Bongo Boingo down there eating up our lines. Lake monsters are full of dirty tricks. <laughs> Almost got it. <laughs> huh? No way. What's he doing here? <laughs> Whatever it is, it can't be good. These ought to stop them. Coop, mind if I have the last soda? Uh, sure, Dad. Here you go. <laughs> Hey, Coop! What's a torpedoing? Was it something big and slippery like, oh, I don't know. Bongo, Bongo! Bongo, Bongo! I was just a freckle-faced kid out on the water with nothing but my wits and a boat and some fishing equipment. Oh, and lunch. Biscuits and marmalade. I'm getting creeped out. And hungry. Bongo Boingo jumped out of the water and ate my biscuits. Box and all! Cool! And then he looked at me like I was the biggest biscuit of them all! That just put me off biscuits for the rest of my life. Time to break out the heavy fishing artillery. Here, hold the wool. Aye, aye, Captain. Bongo Boingo is nothing but a myth. I'll remember you said that when he comes for your biscuits. I got one! Oh, boy! Okay, be it one with the rod. Imagine it's part of you, like the fragile branch of a willow tree swaying gently in the breeze. Ah! Oh, reel that sucker in like there's no tomorrow! What about the fragile branch? Forget the tree! Put the muscle into it! <laughs> What is it? 
It's a shawl and a super sturdy fishing net. <laughs> Winners of this year's Father Son, uh, make that Father Son, Elderly Woman and Little Girl Fishing Derby are Munson and Burtonberger! Hmm. Well, at least the Burtonberger name is back on the trophy. Cat? <laughs> <laughs> 